sci-fi car show. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and look, it's a little uh, UFO with some wheels on it. Okay, walking down the sidewalks of Bartow, Florida. Yeah, on Stanford Street. On the corner of Wilson and Stanford, and we are heading towards something very special, very exciting. It's over there, there where that motorcycle of, is headed. There's a lot of people down there's there. There's a lot of people down there. And we're gonna go start at the beginning. It's a very good place to start. Yep. It's, it's it's going. I can feel it going like I got you. drooping I got you down. Right okay, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. We are here in Bartow, as I mentioned before, and we are here for a sci-fi uh, convention sort of thing, except it's all outside along the street here so it's gonna be very very interesting right down um, main street yep right down main street awesome. i have secured my princess leia buns as i like to do for these sort of things Help um, me, actually girl. you're my only hope <laughs> actually i usually like to uh <laughs> to a total head to toe like cosplay of princess leia but i gotta get a new dress and etc etc but anyway the buns the buns will do check out some Straight cosplay out. check out some vendors Obviously here with Tampa J. Hey guys. Wearing a very good shirt right there. And Oh hey. A new pal. Hey everybody. Yeah. Adventures by Greg. Adventures by George. George? Yeah. I always get the names mixed up. Me too. <laughs> and and Greg's, Greg's Game Room. Game Room. Yes, that's my other channel. Which is an awesome, awesome channel. I have learned already <laughs> so much before? just watching um, the past yeah. like few videos. Uh, lots of really good information about gaming. Classic, so, classic video games, yeah. that's my thing. So if that's your thing, you gotta check out his channel. I'll put all the information down below for you. But uh, yeah, we're all gonna go hang out for a little bit. Okay, you ready? I feel the force is strong with this one. I okay. am ready. All right, let's go. So we're heading in now, as I stated, and look how busy it is. Oh my gosh, so many people. Ooh. I see a Ghostbuster right over there. Yeah, lots of people. By the way, this event only happens once a year, folks. Only once a year. Yeah, it looks like lots and lots of vendors. This one here, I'm just noticing, has a bunch of games. One of the things that I love are board games. This one's one of my favorites, Firefly. Is such a great game. Also, all the different munchkins. Another one of my favorites. Ooh, they got a Harry Potter one. That's cool. It's a question. Oh, hey. Do you ever do like board games? Like are board games your thing or is it strictly just video games? It's really just video games, really just but video games? I mean, I could probably do board games. I love board games. What's your favorite board game? Oh my gosh. Probably Settlers of Catan. Settlers of Catan? That's, yeah, that's Catan, a pretty advanced one. Of them. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. Well, that's not really a board game, but yeah, yeah. stuff like that. That's my favorite. Okay. The only game I'm good at is Sorry. <laughs> well, that's a good one. That's a lot of strategy in Sorry. A lot of strategy. Also, there's a goat right there. Yep, that's a goat. I found them. Han Solo. And this big walk-in carpet. Sand people. Well, a sand person. There's just one of them. And it looks like there are a bunch of stormtroopers out here, too. Ooh, we better be careful. Better be really careful. Don't want them to notice me. Okay, good. Yeah, they're doing some uh, photo opportunities in front of this really cool backdrop. That is legit. By the way, before I forget, it's pretty crazy out here. Lots of stuff going on. But today's coffee is sponsored by Grumpy247. So thank you so much, Grumpy, for sponsoring today's coffee. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy this video. Lots of cosplay, lots of sci-fi going on. Hope that's your thing and I hope you're enjoying it. And thank you so, so, so much for the support as well. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Ooh, lots of stormtroopers going on. And uh, I see a R2 there. I think I'm gonna have to feed him some secret, uh, secret plants. What's going on? Are you having a good time? I am, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. You look great. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite a nice, quite a big gun you got there. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, somebody's got to keep peace. Yep, exactly. Well, keep carry on, sir. Carry on. And I was also noticing this guy over here tucked away in the corner. I thought he was a mailbox for a second, but he's not. He's a droid as well. Do you remember 
where he is from? I think I do. We found a Jawa, everybody. How's it going? Have you sold any good droids today? Not yet? All right, well, the day is still young, so keep on keeping on. Looks like there's some more Jawas, too. That's good. It's always weird to see one Jawa. You should always have multiple Jawas. Okay, here we go. Oh yes, that was that was great. Good job, R2. Yeah, whenever I do the Princess Leia buns, I always gotta find my R2D2s, make sure they get the secret plans. Also, a lot of stuff, a lot of cosplay, a lot of Star Wars cosplay today. I'm very glad to see that here. Some people consider Star Wars not a sci-fi movie, um, because technically there's no science in it. It's a bit more fantasy. Have you ever heard that? Some people consider Star Wars not a sci-fi movie. It's more, yeah, it's more of a fantasy kind uh -huh. of movie with a with a uh, scientific setting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but I always consider it sci-fi. I mean, yeah. it's like everything, right? Yeah, drama. It's got everything. Yeah, comedy, it's like a western. Romance, it's like like we were just saying. Yeah, Star yeah. Wars has everything. That's why exactly. it's so good. Exactly. A few vendors over here on the side of the street. A little bit quieter. A little bit less crazy. We were just walking down that street there with all the Star Wars. I think everybody headed that way though, in front of this beautiful courthouse to take some cosplay pictures. So I think we're gonna go check that out next. Oh, and there's the goat. Looks like he's gonna be taking some pictures with, uh, with R2 over there. Yeah, that's good, good thinking. Oh, it actually comes out of the thing. Wow, yeah, look at that. Huge, huge amount of cosplayers here. Looks like most, all of them are uh, Star Wars. Star Wars based cosplay right here in front of the courthouse. Wow, that is amazing. And amidst all of these Star, Way Star Wars cosplayers here, I just happened to notice there's the Colonel. Not that guy, that guy, right there. He's got his uh, little bucket of chicken. That's cute. I love your uh, cosplay. I'm, that is amazing. I'm Jay Garrick. Uh huh. Golden Age Flash. Yes, I love it. You look awesome. Thank you very much. I love it so much. So now they're getting everybody in here, not just Star Wars. Apparently, Star Wars is the theme for this year. But yeah, they're getting getting everybody everybody up here now. Okay. The gentleman here with the Jane hat, if you've ever watched Firefly, you know, you know. Directing everybody, getting everybody all set up for the picture. Got the Scream guy there, Scream mashup with the Jedi there. Very cool. And holy moly, look at this, Ursula walking down the sidewalk here. Oh my gosh, folks, that is... Uh, that's cosplay goals right there. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Found the Colonel again. Adorable. And right next to this uh, portal let's sign, we found some more robots. There's BB-8. Ooh, and a Lost in Space sign. Oh, I love Lost in Space. That's so cool. Yeah, I got lots of really cool stuff here. Looks like it's an entertainment media spot, so there's uh, their information there. Looks like we got the Nautilus. Got some Ghostbuster stuff there, some Back to the Future. Oh, yeah, I love it. Over here, this booth says the Gotham Underground, and look at the penguins! Oh my gosh! I love it. That was my favorite Batman movie of them all and I loved the penguins. They're so cute! Got some old school Batman and Superman. Oh and Wonder Woman. Oh I love it. They look so great. Adam West is my favorite Batman, I'm not gonna lie. Ladies and gentlemen, these are cosplay goals right here. Again, my favorite thing ever is mashups and I love the Jedi mashups with the Disney. You got Sully. Oh my gosh, so amazing. I love it. This is cool. Wookiee's Tiki Tavern. They've got some really cool tiki art here. Love these. That is amazing. <gasps> no! Han! No! What have they done 
to you? What have they done to you? Of course, I'm gonna take the the Sith one. There we go. Okay. So I'll uh, take someone's eye out right here. Will this work? No, I don't think so. Oh, and we finally hit some toys. Oh yeah, I love these some action figures. It's a trap. The pop figures, the Funko Pops. What are your favorite ones? I mean, I'm, I'm big into the original Star Wars stuff. Yeah. But also, That's like the cool. Star Trek. I mean, yeah. I would think this would be a little bit more rare than a $5 Right? Figure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I love the packaging too. Yeah. Very vintage. Yeah. And what's a sci-fi convention without some comic books? Okay, superheroes aren't sci-fi, but it's still geeky. It's Bender! Oh, that's so cool! Bender! Bite my shiny metal! Ugh, can't say that. Looks like Jay's gonna play some cornhole! I gotta use the power. Great choice. And again, right next to this portalette sign here, you of course have Oh, the TARDIS. What is a sci-fi convention without a little Doctor Who, eh? Alright, let's see. Is it bigger on the inside? Oh, it is not. No. I'm gonna go travel in time now. See ya. Close the door. And off we go! Alright, slightly claustrophobic in here. This is definitely, uh, this is definitely not the portalettes. Thank you. Thank goodness, nobody mistake, mistook it for that. Okay, let's go. And it's quite October, appropriate that the TARDIS is right over here on the edge of more sci-fi vehicles. So we're gonna go check that out now. And Zoinks and Jinkies, it looks like we have the uh, mystery machine over here with Scooby. So cute. Hi, hey, Scoob. I don't have any Scooby snacks for you, though. Sorry, bud. Good to see you again, though. Ooh, and this car is Haunted Mansion themed. There's always room for one more. So cool. Now, if I had to drive a weird, flashy car with things all over it, I guess it would be the Haunted Mansion. Oh, and right next to the Haunted Mansion, very appropriate. Is uh, looks like a Pirates of the Caribbean themed car. That's cute too. And of course, you got your uh, Jurassic Park jeeps over here. Not sci-fi, but that is more than okay. Oh my gosh, look at them. That is amazing. <gasps> oh my gosh, Imperial Walker rentals. That's so cute. Okay, you are easily the coolest thing that I have seen all day that is amazing i love it so so awesome that's me in the future that's me in the future it's just a uh just a basket or laundry basket oh that's a light light switch oh my gosh <sighs> Floss? Get a floss. <laughs> Very good. You wanted a few that did that. Oh my gosh. It's a flashlight? It's a flashlight. And these hold, these were for curtains. Okay. Wow. Whatever you can put together. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know, just like vents or... Oh, okay. That's amazing. Tuna fish cans and chicken cans. So you're telling me that you made all of this on your own. That is... Yeah. <laughs> and then of course your buns are like, like scrubbing. Right, well I was, uh, many years ago in my community, I was Princess Leia with the brown hair. Oh, great, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well, great job. It is just fantastic. I love it. So this is pretty amazing. It has like the cups of water there inside of the Jurassic Park van. We got their backpacks in there. The emergency kit back there. Oh my gosh, look at all the maps for it. And the best part, from John Hammond. There's a goat leg up there. Oh, looks like we got some uh, cars from Shield. 
out here. That's pretty awesome. Tony Stark and the Black Widow out here doing some photo ops. Very cool. Served parking for the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement Logistics Division. I have to admit, I did not know that that was what S.H.I.E.L.D. stood for, but now, now I know. Thanks, random sci-fi convention in Barto. And here's a Time Variance Authority car. Now, I'm assuming this is from the Loki series. Just based on that alone, it's very cute. I actually haven't seen it yet. Yes, I'm very, very behind on my geeky shows, folks. Like, you have no idea. Fake fan, fake fan. And this convention just keeps going and going. There's a whole other side street here filled with vendors and cosplayers. And down this way, even yet more cars. Okay, so bun check. This one is definitely has been lopsiding quite a bit, but I think that they are holding in there decently well considering how much I am sweating and moving around and such. And I've kind of just been telling everybody that I'm uh, Princess Leia if she lived here in Florida. Princess Leia on vacation, so. There you go. Oh, this one's really cool. It's like a zombie, zombie car. Ooh, I like that at the front. I would have that in front of my car all year round. Looks like there's a zombie chained up in the in the front there. I don't I don't know if this is based off of anything. It might be based off of something. This is the Umbrella Corporation car, which is from. I don't remember. Resident Evil. I knew I I knew I would get there eventually. Yeah, I think all of this is from Resident Evil, a uh, video game that the youth play. Still pretty cool. Oh, look at the baby! <gasps> That's so cute. It's like all charred and like like it was on fire or something. Also, this about scared the crap out of me just now. Uh, I was not expecting a zombie to be just hanging out at the bottom of the vehicle there. Georgie! Georgie! You want a balloon, Georgie? Oh, look at him! He's got his little, uh, little boat here, and there's Pennywise. Oh, He's talking. Oh, he's moving too. There he goes. And inside of the car here, it's kind of hard to see because it's really tinted. Pretty sure all you can see is myself. But Pennywise, there's a couple of them in there. That is so awesome. This is my favorite, hands down. And the sign says, please do not touch the cars or you'll float too. You'll float too, you'll float too. What would be cars without the good old Ecto-1? And we got a hearse here as well. That is so, so cool. Ooh, I like the bat in the window. Oh wow, and they even have uh, motorcycles out here for the Ghostbusters. Oh, that is so cool, I love it. Oh, hey, there's the goat again. Holy crap on a cracker, it just, uh, it keeps going, folks. More and more cars. Wow, that's uh, been a huge majority, actually, I feel like, of this uh, convention so far, is all of these cars. Wow. And I wasn't expecting this either. For all you Joker fans out here, this one's pretty cool. I like that it's the old school Joker as opposed to the, uh, the new school ones. Anybody else watch the uh, Batman animated series? Man, was that good. How you doing there, pal? You're doing all right. Ah! <gasps> Scary. Ooh. Every town has an Elm Street. I'm sure That's there's one near right. Bartos. Yeah, there You're probably the is. Street, yeah, this is a different street. I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's Elm Street. Yeah, very cool. Very cool, spooky car. Cool Captain Marvel car. I was actually a huge fan of this movie. I know a lot of people gave it a lot of hate, but one of my favorite Marvel movies. Okay, I think we've had enough of the cars. Sorry, folks. Although that one is amazing, Pikachu, but I'm seeing something that is very important right now. Very important. It's a Tauntaun made out of balloons. Oh my gosh. 
This is amazing. Also, I know the person who uh, is behind the balloons, Bruce. I used to work with him actually. So here is his information right here. He does amazing, amazing work. But yeah, look at this Tauntaun. So cool. We have the doctor here, of course, Matt Smith and uh, Team Zuzu. Very cool. Yeah, let me yeah, yeah. let me see that again so everybody can follow you. Very cool. Yeah, I love it. Bow ties are awesome. <laughs> Just in case I didn't cover all of the details, Sci-Fi Barto happens one day, one day a year, once a year. It's a free event. You can just come in here and walk around. You don't have to buy anything, but all of the uh, purchases that you make, um, not like the vendors and stuff, because obviously all that money is going to go to them, but uh, like the drinks that we got earlier um, and whatnot, like all of that goes directly towards the city. The city of Barto. Barto. So very cool event. I'll put the information down below for you even though it's done for uh, the year. But keep an eye out for it next for year. next year. If you're interested and this is your sort of thing and you're in the area, holy moly. Yeah. This was this like way exceeded our expectations even, right? I am still shocked. Yeah. This thing is huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Yep. Uh, there's more people here than I expected. Yep. Lots of cosplay. I heard about it, but I just... Um, it took me a couple years to get out here and I regret not coming out here sooner. This will probably be yeah. a normal thing for us maybe going yeah, forward. We'll, we'll see. Next year. Yeah, this is a lot of a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And they even have crystals and uh, some mystical stuff there. Some dream catchers and things like that. Ooh, this place has everything. This whole convention has all the things that I love. Looks like we've got some Firefly, Firefly art I was just out say. here. Yeah, ooh, there's a Aliens 2 one. Oh, it's Baymax and Rocket. <gasps> That's adorable. Here, let me get you their information here. I love it. Oh man, that's a really cool Ghostbusters uh, print there too. Yeah, very awesome. There's all their information. Very, very awesome. Look, you got some Star Trek badges. And yeah, there's, there's some, some magnets here. Game sets down here. Uh-huh. So cool. Wow, they these are beautiful. They said these are a dollar. Uh-huh. Little predator guys holding yeah, them. Keychain. Yep. Get to the choppa. All you uh, D and D fans and uh, other tabletop game fans here. Yeah, very, very awesome. Oh man, I wish I had something like this when I was playing D&D. &D. Oh my gosh. And they have a jar, jar, jar. Anythingart.net. Check them out. Very cool. Very awesome. What has been your favorite part so far? Of all this? Yeah. I mean, you guys. Oh, wow. that's so sweet. <laughs> what has been your second favorite thing? Second favorite thing. Oh, gosh. I know, I'm putting you on the spot. Second favorite thing. I like the cosplayers. The cosplayers I, are really like, cool. Uh -huh. you know, being able to interact with the cosplayers. Yeah, is that cool. is always awesome. Yeah. And there's a lot of them here, so you're in luck. And don't worry, folks, they do also have some food items here. They've got some lemonade, some cotton candy. There's Greg. There's, um, I think, some coffee over there, too. Some ice creams. Yeah, got some 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 good food options. Yeah, going on out here. I see some lemonade over there. You yeah, want some lemonade? yeah, some lemonade. I was saying lemonade and some cotton candy, cotton sugar candy. sugar beards candy. I like that. Sugar beard. Yeah, sugar beard. That's not a bad term of endearment. Sugar beard. Sugar beard. If you if if you had like a like a beard like down to here, that's what I like would ZZ call top? you. Like ZZ top. Yeah, it's sugar beard. Sugar beard. Yeah. <laughs> food for I'm gonna call you sugar buns. Oh yeah, that's good. Because of those. These buns. Yes. These buns. Sugar beard, sugar buns. <laughs> We're just missing my beard. Yeah. Watch out, Greg. The eyes of a stranger are upon you. Here, can you can you maybe film this for me? Yeah. yeah, I can do that. See if you can film that. Oh, Audrey. Okay. Ready? Yeah, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Ready? This man. All right. Let's injure myself. myself. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. How's that beard? <laughs> <laughs> Tampa J's got two cameras and I'm videotaping Tampa J. Videoing this moment. Let's try that again. One, two, three. This is so like 
vlogging right here. The vlogging no, life no, no, no right here. So, uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, what has been your favorite part of the convention so far? Oh, Sci-Fi Bar 2 is fantastic. It's the funnest uh -huh. one. It's the one we look forward to every year. Uh -huh. It's outside. I it's see. on Main Street. Bartow is an amazing town. It is. With amazing people. And they put this on every year. And not uh -huh. only that, it's completely free. Ooh, yep, that's right. That's a big benefit over oh, other conventions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of fun for the kids and the whole family. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've had a blast. I now, can people find you on Instagram? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Just look up Ranger Cosplay okay. on Instagram. And okay. That's my handle. And Got it. All right. right I'm going to look for you as well because it was such a pleasure to meet you. I'm such a huge fan, Chuck Norris. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I hope everyone out there is following you and Tampa oh, J as well. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Oh, hey. <laughs> The eyes of a stranger. <laughs> Adventures by George oh, hey. and Greg's Game Room. Yes. Can't shout it out. Yes. Enough. Go subscribe Enough. right Go now. Subscribe right Go now, subscribe right now, folks. You're not going to regret it. You all think that I'm joking? I'm not joking. I've been in his game room. It's yeah. Oh, legit. wow. Yeah. I don't what, know. What, do you do remember we what game you played in, in the game we room? We played Ghostbusters 2, uh -huh. but we played the Japanese version. Right. Not right. the uh, American version. And we is, also played, Which, in my opinion, is better. We also played your favorite game, too. Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Quantum Fighter. <laughs> NES, baby. Or, yeah, that is my favorite game. Good memory. Uh -huh. yeah. And I cried over the Atari Jaguar. Oh, yeah. I, 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 that's sorry. A long, that's a long story. I always bring up the Jaguar, <laughs> but... Uh, Tampa J gave his away to a, a, a young a young kid, right? We gave it to a Aww. family who yeah. needed it for Christmas. Well, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah. yeah, but now it's worth I like know that. two grand. It's a lot. Of, it's yeah. worth well, a lot, but it's, it's, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, it, it was much. A good it was place. much better to give it away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It. Oh, what a heartwarming, what a heartwarming story this turned out to be. <laughs> 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 the stand over here is selling some cotton candy, but also some Jedi juice and some butter beer. Our pals, uh, Princess Leia and the Emperor here, grabbing a frosty beverage. Oh, Darth Vader right there too. This place has a bunch of dice. I love seeing my dice. Any excuse I can get to get a pack, I always take it. I like these, they're pink. And up here on top of this uh, Meeks real estate company, apparently Jabba the Hutt works there and uh, sells some real estate on the side, which is pretty smart because I think the hut business isn't really doing so hot <laughs> lately, right? No, I don't think From so. From what I understand. I also see a missed opportunity here. Go on. It could be Pizza the Hut, and they could be actually selling pizzas inside Pizza there. Pizza inside of there, yeah. Pizza the Hut! That's a very, very good point. So Java's Palace could be for sale. The, uh, the, uh, the cruiser thing, right? Sail barge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. could be for sale, maybe. Well, you know, it's kind of wrecked now, but, um, That's yeah. true. Well, but you're going to get a good price on it, then. The, the Jawas exactly. have already scavenged the whole thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's taken down. That's very true. Very true. Yeah, I can't imagine the real estate business is booming there, Java. Sorry about that. And they have pet adoptions out here as well. Look at this sweet baby. Aww. Precious. Now the place that we were at earlier where we saw uh, Han Solo and Carbonite, they also do uh, Jedi training stuff out here so they can teach you how to wield a lightsaber. Very awesome. They were just doing it a second ago. I swear. On speaking of, he's got a little pork now in his hands. Aw, so cute. Okay, who wants to see Tampa J dress as Han Solo? And me as Princess Leia. Oh, I do. Yeah? Okay, okay. that's one. All right. Let me know in the comments yeah. below. Watch Let's see. Yeah. 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 Miss Monsters and Legends. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we're, we got some teaser images from the new book. Oh. We've got Eerie Epilecha coming out this fall. So, of course, Mothman, Mothman. right off the bat. Cool. Uh, that will be premiering at the Mothman Festival up in Point Pleasant. So oh, that I've would be to awesome. To yeah, uh, me too. It's our first year going to be speaking and doing all the things Ooh. oh my god That's cool crazy. little crazy so yeah and then we got little mini robert here robert so make dog. sure robert is it okay if we take your photo take some video oh yeah gotta always ask because uh now in uh sometime this summer 
Discovery Channel, I'm doing a documentary called The Curse of Robert the Doll. Ooh. And we filmed it at the artist house down in Key West. Oh, so so we cool. got so Robert's hanging out with us to awesome. travel size Robert, fun I size Robert. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 just for fun. So. You know, so. Very cool. And how do we how do we purchase your your books and your materials if not here? If not like here, do we go online here yeah, or you can go to erieflorida.com okay. and then that'll you know my lovely wife will and I'll sign them uh -huh. for you, give you some oh, special cool. stuff. But okay. you can find us everywhere. Our publisher, yeah. History Press, they put us all over the place. We're okay. in right. Cracker Barrel, Ooh. Harbor Freight, uh Excellent. books a million. Oh, yeah. Walgreens, CVS. I found you at Walgreens. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. all, and I'll pay you a dollar if you move it to the top shelf. So just... <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Makashi is the preferred style for lightsaber to lightsaber dueling and emphasizes precision strikes as well as well balanced footwork. Form 2 is a one handed lightsaber style in which the practitioner keeps both feet one in front of the other on a line and advances or retreats along this line. One of the most notable practitioners was Count Dooku. This lightsaber form is known as the resilience form. Cerisi was developed with the deflection of blaster fire in mind. Often referred to as the impenetrable shield or cocoon, Form 3 focuses on defending and redirecting attacks. It preserves the user's energy, waiting for their opponent to make a mistake or to become tired before making any type of counter strike. Some of the most notable users include Master Luminara Unduli, Kanan Jarrus, Darth Zana, and Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice. It's a baby corgi. Little baby corgi, so cute. Oh, it's just a little puppy. I'm gonna cry. And with that, I think we're gonna be wrapping it up here. We've walked around here quite a lot. Seen a lot of stuff, a lot of cosplay, a lot of vendors. Uh, lightsaber demonstrations, met a lot of fine folk out there. Yeah, it's been it's been one of the funnest times I've like ever had. Wow, what a cool cool convention. One of the coolest ones that I've ever been to, honestly. The weather was beautiful too. Man, great time. At the very end, of course, here I find sun signage. Sci-fi galaxies far, far away, as I mentioned earlier. It's a uh, Star Wars specific theme this year, but I believe it changes every year. February 19th, that's today, that's the time. Uh, activities include, there was the car show, the vendors, the food trucks, costume contests, entertainment, art show. Very, very awesome. This was just amazing like wow what a cool cool convention <laughs> it's falling it is it made it partially through the event but it's you made it sweet buns <laughs> uh, yeah that's all right <laughs> we made it for most of it so it's fine okay we're gonna head out now man this was so much fun loved it we loved it we great. had a great time great i think time. we all decided we're gonna come back oh. next year too and yeah check it out next year <laughs> it's a good time Tampa J. Thank you. We're being serious now. Craig's Game Room, Bye. Adventures by George. Bye. Make sure you check out their channels. If you haven't already, you. if you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I, I just, <laughs> I really don't know. To Chris so. the Girl right here. You're watching her video. Give it a yeah. thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, Smash you want to see more. Baby. <laughs> baby. And ring that notification bell. Anyway, okay, we're gonna head out now. We're gonna get some food. It's been a long day, so yeah. We're pretty hungry. Good. Barbecue? Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go now. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. The only thing that would have made this better, though, at the end, was seeing that goat one more time. One more time would have been good. <sighs> oh well. Bye, everyone. I'm gonna take these buns out now. Grand, this one's already coming out, so it doesn't even matter, but yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Red, oh, okay, so. Oh, nope, it we just don't. Changed. It was like going out for Yeah. Shoot. Well, they're crossing. I'm gonna cross. All right, we're going. I'm going. going. I don't care. I'm going. We got the red light. We're going. Okay. We did it. Bye, bye. We lived. Sci fi Barto! every third Saturday in February. Look, it's got all the people there. Oh man, I didn't see any uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. That would have been cool. 
But we saw pretty much everything else except Tron. We didn't see Tron either. That's okay. Sci-Fi Bartow. Every third Saturday. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, the buns are coming out. The buns. The buns are coming out. This one's already coming out. I know I keep talking about my buns, <laughs> but it's time. This is the best part is taking, getting the hair down. Taking the hair down after all this. Batman made a stop in Tampa. Whoa, this is super cool. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it's so much better. You got it? So much better. <laughs> Release the buns. No more so buns. So much better. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You were recording that whole time? I was, yeah. <laughs> Just recording me taking my hair Unleashing down. Unleashing the buns. Such uh, important and exciting content that we have here. I'm going to watch it. Oh, I know. You were here in person. No, I mean, I'm going to watch that moment. I like yeah. It. Yeah, you are. I saw it. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.